Uh, what, what were your thoughts uh, just on the week? How have you guys come back? Uh, I definitely think it's been good. Definitely to see uh, how we just continue to work and how there's been, you know, no doubt some motivation. We, we obviously have the start we want, but there's definitely our goal is still out there, so we're still working for them. This is going to be a physical game when you look at Michigan's defense. I mean, how important is it that you guys stay on schedule and, and, and try to get some early run down success this week? Uh, it's definitely it's. It's going to be huge, like you said. This Michigan is a big physical team. You know, we have the players, you know, to to combat it, and we just got to make sure we do the little things right, so we can have some success running the ball early and establish the run game. How much do you just lock in more, though, knowing they've got maybe three first rounders on that front seven? I mean, that it's just going to take that much more of an effort this week um, to, to move the ball on these guys, and then you can't really have some of the, maybe the mistakes you had in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely motivation to you know, definitely get those little things corrected. You know, that's been one thing we've been talking about a bunch. Yeah, you know, they do have some talented guys, but I think this team is, is a bunch of guys that you know they they kind of play up to competition. Like when we have when we play against better teams, I think you know it's just a little motivation, and we're trying to honestly correct that. We're trying to maintain our play no matter who we play. But I definitely think we'll come out ready, knowing who Michigan has and who they are. Oh no, yeah, I, I definitely think everybody's discouraged. I definitely think everybody knows what needs to be corrected, and we're just trying to figure out and go to practice and make, uh, do our best to get all of those things fixed and you know have them not be pushing anymore. Cause, you know, we're doing a lot of good things. We just have to play all together. How's Adrian looked? Uh, just two days of practice now with you guys. I mean, does it look like the Adrian that you saw in the Colorado game? Yeah. Adrian looks really good today. I saw him run. I saw him. Uh, Pull it on his own read and things like that. He's moving. He's doing a lot better. I think he'll be good. You know, just got to see uh, you know how he feels come game day. I don't really know exact details, but he's he's looking good. Did Notre Dame have a lot of success with zone reads on Michigan's defense when you go back and kind of study what they did to, to move the ball? Um, I don't know exactly what type of runs, like exactly what type of runs they were doing. But when it came to Notre Dame running the ball, they had a lot of power. I think you know they they moved the pile. They got a bunch of four or five yard runs. You know, they opened up in the game, so that's one thing that, you know, we see how they can do. We feel like if we can, you know, establish those, you know, those hard-earned yards early in the game, they can break things later. One or two more questions from Bob before we go to the last one. Third and four shorts. How big a deal is to you guys to kind of turn the tide on those plays? Yeah, that's definitely one thing, you know, because we're, you know, our coaches are not scared, so they're going to call those. They're going to give us opportunity to, you know, get those one or two yards on those downs. So, yeah, just getting those would be big. You know, we've left a couple of them out there, and you know, that could honestly change the game for us if we can just start establishing those. I think you will. Even if they're loaded up the box, is that a deal where you're like, well, you got to get it anyway? Yeah, I mean, if, if we're going to call it, we don't care who, how many guys they got, and they could have all 11. If we call it, we, we, we intend to get it.